Hi, I'm Jesse Dringoli with Bentley Technical Support. I'm going to start off this video series with some general tips and tricks that can be applied to almost all of Bentley's hydraulics and hydrology products, including water gems, water CAD, storm CAD, sewer gems, and others. If you use these products a lot, these tips may save you some time. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is related to the property grid. So this is the window that comes up when you double click on an element. And what I like to do is dock this over on the side so that it's up all the time. So I'm just going to drag and drop this on the little icon over here. One of the things that you're usually going to be doing when you're editing existing data is typing in values in certain fields such as the elevation or other properties. So what most users I see do is they'll click in the field, they'll highlight the old value and delete it and then start typing the new value and then either press enter or maybe click off of it. Um, there's actually an easier way to do this. So all you have to do is click on the left side where the name of the field is and just start typing. So we'll say 147 and notice it just automatically starts typing in that field and then if you hit tab you're done. Same thing applies for example if you have data that you want to paste in such as from an external file. So if I do a control C to copy this I can just click over on the left side, paste, and the value is pasted in. Another thing that uh, you might have difficulty with is when you're scroll down and you're looking at one of the result fields, for example, or maybe one of the input fields, and then you switch over to another element of the same type, it might jump back up to the top. So for example, if I look at a pipe, and I scroll down and I'm looking at, say, the wave speed, and then I click on another pipe, and it's back up to the top. So one trick is that when you're looking at something that you want to look at across elements, you click in the field and it will actually lock the position, the scroll position. So if I click to another pipe, notice that it maintains that scroll position. The next thing that's really useful, especially if you have uh, certain types of products or models that have lots of different results fields, is the property search. So that's this field right above right here. So I can type in, for example, pressure, and then I can get all kinds of different pressure related fields, flow. Um, it's really handy in case you're looking for a certain result field and, and you're just having trouble scrolling and finding it. And it sa saves you some time there. Okay, so a few drawing pane related tips. So one thing you might be doing is selecting a certain area of your model. For example, if you want to create a selection set or manipulate the data in some way. So uh, for example, this subdivision up here that's in green, if I just draw a box around it, it's kind of hard to select it because, you know, it grabs elements from over here, and then, you, you know, you got to select it and then, you know, try to grab all the other elements. So one trick you can do is go to the Edit menu and then Select by Polygon, and this lets you draw a shape around it and select by a shape. So right-click as selected, now that's selected. So one thing you might want to do with that is, for example, uh, edit the properties of all of those elements that you have selected. So a shortcut to that is once you have those elements selected, you just right click in the drawing, edit group, pick your flex table, such as the pipe table, OK, and the table is filtered by your selection. So another problem you can run into is, for example, if you validate this model, sometimes you get a whole bunch of user notifications that could all be about the same thing. So all these notifications refer to node not being connected to a boundary. So I can click through these one by one and address the issues one by one. But another useful tip is to right click on the notification and choose select all elements with that message ID and that selects everything with the same message type. So in this case if I zoom out I can pretty quickly see why there's an issue here with the node not being connected to a boundary. So if I zoom in here I can see there must be a problem here. So if I click, oh, these things are not connected. So let's say you want to reconnect these pipes. So instead of deleting this pipe and then drawing a new pipe to connect them, what you can actually do is click on the pipe, right click on the end of the pipe, and choose reconnect. And now you can actually connect the existing pipe to a new node. So I'll click on this node, click this junction, delete, and now everything is all connected.